Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So, we now found the B matrix, which means we've completed point three. Point four is now to write out the general equation and just have, have a little bit of discussion about it. So, in our derivation um, videos, which were some of the previous videos, we got to this stage here. We saw that K11, K21, K12, and K22 outside of, I'm going to call it D unknown and D known equals P known and P unknown. Sometimes we refer it to as D1, D2, uh, P1, P2, it doesn't really matter. But we need to have a little talk about this and how it works and how we're going to simplify this whole process. Now, when we look at our problem, we saw this. You can see that member one and member two are free to move. Okay, so we don't know their displacements yet. So they're going to be called D unknown because we don't know what they're moving by. But three, four, and five, six, because these are pin joints, it actually is restrained from moving in the x and y direction and the x and y direction. So we actually know those displacements. Those displacements are zero. So we could say that D known, and I'm going to call it just transpose to write it out nicely is 0, 0, 0, 0. The reason I've called it transpose is just to save a bit of paper. I could have just read D known is 0, 0, 0, 0 as a single column vector. I just want to write it out nicely like this in a row. Okay? So D known is 0, 0, 0, 0. D unknown, we don't know what that is yet. Uh, we're just going to call that D1 and D2. So we're going to call D unknown equaling, so normally you'd write it 1 and 2, something like that. D1 and D2. Okay? So what's going to happen is, is that this matrix is going to look something like this. The D, U, D, K matrix is going to look like D1, D2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so that's this matrix there. It's D1, D2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, when you multiply this, these rows by this column, That essentially is zero, okay? 